Hi, so we're going to be talking today about the joystick console, uh, which is running here an SFH30 head. Um, the joystick console um, has some connections at the back, it has a lot of different capabilities. Um, on the back here we have power in, um, power out to the head, um, and this is a serial connection to the head, and then a number of inputs, for instance, uh, focus control, zoom control, iris control, um, and it also has here a, a boot select mode, which is so that you can use it in many different modes, because there are different modes that this can work in. Um, it can just run from um, a battery pack such as this. This is um, a, um, a couple of 12 volt batteries, uh, standard V-Lock batteries, um, or it can run from a small mains adapter. Uh, the mains adapter powers the console, the joystick console, as well as the head. It doesn't consume much power at all. To actually load the head, uh, what we do is we make sure that everything is reset. So we pull out the power, like so, and then plug it back in. And then it says, please select to load head. So we press the select button. And this button actually twists. So this is how you actually get through the menus and when you've made your relevant choice you just press it to select. You'll see that once we get going. So once the head is loaded uh, what we do then is uh, typically we make sure that we uh, put it into the relevant zero position. I've already got it in the right zero position but if it wasn't I would just move it to the right position um, choose what that is and then as it says on the screen press back for three seconds to zero all axes, uh, like this. And now they're all zeroed. Okay, so it's a very simple menu system. Uh, I can control it, the head using the joystick, uh, and if I want to slow things down, I have here um, a scale for my track, a scale for my pan, and a scale for my uh, tilt. And if I slow them right down, uh, the head hardly moves at all. Sorry, let me just slow that down. The head moves very, very slowly. I can speed it up a little bit. Okay. Um, or I just make them all run fast. Okay. Um, and I've already programmed in some soft limits. Okay. Now, the menu system consists of uh, pressing select, which gets you into the menu system, and then there are a number of different settings that can be changed. Um, so, for example, if I want to change my uh, soft limit, at the moment my tilt tilts quite far down. I don't want it to tilt quite that far down. Um, so what I, what I can do is I can go into my menu, uh, go into access setup, and the top choice is soft limits. So soft limits. And now I can just, in here, scroll down to the tilt minimum, select that, and tilt it to where I want it to tilt to, and press select again. And now if I come out of the menu, the only thing I need to do is I just need to make sure that my limit is actually set to be used and they've just been temporarily disabled so I'm just going to re-enable them Oops, sorry. I should be looking at the screen not the monitor mm -hmm. okay so once I have them enabled I come out and this is now my new limit. I can't go beyond that. Okay, um, And then to record a move I come out of this menu and I go into record playback. Okay, And there are a number of different ways to create a move. Uh, a simple one is to just store a start position and an end position. We call that an A to B move and you can create uh, an A to B move just like that. Uh, I can also record the motion, uh, which is quite a common way of doing it as well. So 
normally I would have already selected my axes to record, so my pan, tilt and track are all set to record, so I don't need to change those. All I do is I just go into record. Now this is saying that it's about to record move 5, and I have 59 minutes of recording time left. Um, there are, you can store as many moves as you want, um, and you can play them back as, at the same speed or slowly. Um, so for example, I could record a 10 second move, and it would only use up 10 seconds of recording time, but then say to play it back over a week. Uh, there's nothing stopping me doing that. So if I want to record, when I'm ready to record, I just press that, and now it's recording, and I move whatever I want. Okay, and when I'm done, I press stop, and that's ready to record another take. It may be that I wasn't happy with that one, but if I am, all I need to do is come out of the menu, okay, come back up another level, and then go into playback. So I select playback. So in this menu, I can select which move I want to play back. Now it automatically selects the last move I recorded, so I don't actually have to go into here, but as you can see with a small arrow, it selected move 5, which is the last move that was recorded, and it's 11 seconds long. Okay, if I come back out of that, and there are some play options. Um, I just need to change this. I don't want it to keep repeating the move, I just want it to play it back once. Okay, and play back, same speed. So now it's ready to go to the start of the move. It's move number 5, it's 11 seconds long. It's going to the start. Okay. Now, it's going at a particular speed. The go-to speeds, as we call them, can be set to any speed. So if I wanted to go to that move faster, I can change that in a menu. Okay. So when it's in the right position, I just go ready to shoot, press it, and now it's going to play back exactly what I recorded. Okay. The next thing is, obviously I can play that back again, uh, but I'm going to come out of that menu, and uh, what I'm going to do is, let's say I like that move, but I want to modify it slightly. So what I can do is I go to my Modify menu, okay? And here the first thing I need to do is select which move. So I'm going to select move 5, it's actually already selected as you can see, but if I, it wasn't, I would just select it and come out. Then I select which axes I want to modify. So in this case, let's say I wasn't happy with uh, quite what the tilt was doing. Okay, So I'm going to change that to modify. And then I go, right, I want to record that. So as you can see, it's telling me that it's going to play back move number five and record it as a new move, move number six. And again, it's 11 seconds long. Okay. So it's going to go to the beginning. Okay. And when I'm ready, I press shoot. And now I'm going to go up and down and up and down and up and down. Just to prove a point here. Okay. And when it's finished, it's now ready to record the next move, in case I didn't like that one. But again, I'm going to stop it, and now we're going to play that back. So, play back. Okay, make sure the right move is selected. Move number six, that's correct. And play back the same speed. Okay, so, ready to go to. I'm going to go to the start. and shoot. And as you can see, this is my move. If I want to stop it, I can just press stop. Okay, now, uh, the next thing we can do is we can actually play it back as a time-lapse move. So, let's say we want to play the move we just created, uh, but as a time-lapse move, frame by frame. So, we can go into record, uh, playback, and down the bottom here, is time lapse. Okay, so I select which move I want to do, and again I'm going to select move six. And 
Next I tell it, I need to tell it how many uh, frames and how many seconds per frame. So in this case uh, I'm going to reduce the number of frames because this will just take too long otherwise. So let's reduce this right down to something. Um, let's say 20 frames. Okay, And now I want to say that it has um, say four seconds per frame okay and I don't want to play it back slow motion I want to actually play it back frame by frame okay um, so what that will do is it will divide that move up into 20 sections and allow 20 uh, four seconds per frame my camera uh, can be connected to the head so the, so the joystick console will through the head trigger the taking of the frame as well so every frame it will take a fr every frame it will trigger the camera and take a sh take a shot okay so when we're ready we go to time lapse playback and again it'll go to the beginning you can see here it's worked out that at 4 seconds per frame this move which was 11 seconds long will now be 1 minute and 20 seconds long Okay, so rage shoot, shoot. And at the beginning it doesn't do much because there wasn't a lot of motion, but frame by frame you'll see it'll start moving quite a bit more. Okay, now I don't actually have the camera connected to the head so it's not triggering it. Um, but if I were to do that then it would trigger it every frame. I'm going to stop it because I don't want to wait till the end. Okay, now if I want to run that move slowly, um, so let's say I'm shooting with the video camera and I don't want it to do a kind of uh, take frame, move, stop, take frame, move, stop, then what I can do is I can go into my time lapse options and change this to slow motion. So this move will still be 1 minute and 20 seconds long when I play it back because it's still assuming that it's 20 frames and 4 seconds per frame um, but instead it will play back continuously so this is going back to the beginning and when I'm ready to shoot shoot and it will now start moving very slowly through the move this is my initial up and down tilting and in a minute the track and the pan will start moving too. Okay, I'm not going to run it all the way through, I'm going to stop it there.